that's generally who he plays during the matchup. Mm -hmm. uh, and he just does a super good job of edge guarding Luigi and just boxing him out with the razor, uh, with the side B. All right. You know, that Razor Leaf is like a top like five projectile in the game. Yeah, it's super good frame data on that move, and then it combos. Uh, you can use it to kill confirm. As soon as you just use it for neutral, it's super versatile. And you know, Luigi, famously bad neutral character in terms of like his mobility and being able to box with projectiles. I mean, honestly, I feel like Luigi's neutral isn't that bad. It's his recovery that's like super bad. Oh, that plunger into up the almost got him. That's right, crazy. Yeah, but I feel like Squirrel, you know, being a, such a small hitbox, you know, was able to land on the ground before like he could get hit, hit by that up B. Yeah, Sweet Tea already playing from a huge deficit right now. Kong Kong getting the super strong Luigi tax right now. Yet again, just getting hit by that puncher. Yeah, it's so crazy how like that move seemed like so bad pre-release. Like we all thought it was gonna be terrible. You know, didn't grab the ledge as his air. Uh, and like the more we see it, like the better it seems. You know? Honestly, it's better than his Smash Four grab. Uh, yeah, it's got like Smash Four Lucas frame data on it, so it's not bad as a grab at all either. And then having a projectile to drop off ledge is super good. I mean, it combos into itself. That's how yeah. good you know it is. And like Luigi, uh, you know, has a problem with people pushing him back in Smash 4. Now his grab reaches so far that it's not that big of a deal. Right. I mean, before like Luigi, we'd have to get him like super close to like grab you. Now yeah, he's just like power shield. Now he can normal shield and grab right. you a lot of the time. Yeah. Ooh, you know right. what? He's kind of like. Not being able to find out the stock, but he gets grabbed for going for that down B. Or, yeah. yeah and he invincibles through the up air, Lance hits him with the down B. Right. And you know what? I feel like Ivysaur just barely managed to live because he planked with one of the hits on that down B. And that down B sailed, so it didn't kill right there either. Yeah, and I think that move goes at like a kind of like a Ken angle where like you can DI it down in a way and you live a lot longer. Because even like a low ceiling PS2, 170, yeah. really oh. long to I mean, I find it silly how he just like rose with that fair and it, it, he lived, and, like he died to that. But I mean, he was at like 190. But yet again, that down air, like, ooh, that's such a big hitbox on it. Boom. Yeah, and it's surprising to see that uh, Ivysaur's fair actually sent him back towards the ledge. It does go off of the side that you're on, but um, obviously, like Ivysaur wants to hit Luigi with those nairs to send him away, uh, and then just abuse his bad recovery. Right. But here's the edge guarding. Oh, he gets the fair off stage. Is that going to be enough? No, he armors through it with up B. No, that could have been so bad for Charizard right there. Yeah, and good on CT to not go for another up B with Ivysaur. They're just recognizing the situation that he wouldn't be able to come back with it. Uh, he does have to get through with Charizard right now, though, and that is a lot of combo ability. Right. I mean, that's just a big target. Yeah, large man, heavy. Yeah. Luigi. Luigi's just like, <laughs> let me just grab you. You see Kong Kong kind of like doing that. He's just like, I'm going to fish for this grab because if I land it, you're going to die. Yeah. And yet again, all these like plungers, it, it drops too, so it can hit below ledge. And it's like, gives Luigi like an edge guard, like challenging move without like being like super committal to going off stage. Yeah. That is kind of a dangerous game versus Ivysaur. Uh, once they get ledge, it's pretty tricky to deal with the upbeat from ledge. Uh, so, like, you have to respect that space a lot, so there is some risk to it in this matchup. Yet again, oh, both players are just trying to play super carefully, but no, oh my god, he throws out a super laggy move, and no, Sweet Tea wasn't expecting it, so he couldn't get the appropriate punish on it. And yeah, this is, like, a super nervous situation for both of them, because this is, like, the deciding stock of, like, who, how it's going to be played for the rest of the match, right? Because, I mean, you know if Luigi gets the stock first, he's going to grab it. Fish for grabs super yeah. hard. Ivysaur gets this, he's going to camp super hard. But Sweet Tea has been playing this super evasively right now. I mean, they're both playing, like, super evasively in not the middle, but not quite enough to finish it off right there. But, yet again, I like that. He knew he was going to land with that, and the down throw will finish off the stock. Ooh, I like that. You know he likes to go for the down B off of grab, and... Uh, I'm not going to find the bear. Unfortunately, it goes for the Nair instead. I'm so surprised that Nair hit. That was such a late hitbox of it. Ooh, tried grabbing him. He spot what? dodges the grab. Oh, my God. Dude, what are what are ultimate spot dodges? It's not ultimate spot dodges. It's ultimate grabs being sucky. Yeah. Uh. That's where just... 
I feel like that, that situation happens so much in this game, and it always gets to me every time. I feel like that only worked because Luigi's grab has a little bit of startup to it, as opposed to like every other grab. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's and yet again, very content to throw raise these. Yet again, you know, like Kong Kong's at like 86 percent, but this is even because all he needs is one grab. But you know what? Opting for damage, not going for the Luigi combo. Yeah, honestly, at 35 here, it's a little bit safer than it being at lower percent. Right. Because the grab is a bit less scary now. I mean, basically, the golden percent you want to be at is somewhere between, like, 25 and 45. Yeah, I'll just up these out of shield. But oh, but you know what? Char Charizard's fat. Oh, no, no. no. Kong Kong's just like, huh, I'm going to get you this time. Oh, you're heavy. Okay, that was just extra yeah. damage for this one to kill. Yeah. People... He fire breath that way. I, I gotta believe that he tried to be reverse it because like Kong Kong was like way over there. Like right. I don't see much reason for him to believe that he would run over that way and, and then, like roll yeah. into it. Yeah, like that's a bit hard of a read for like a move like that. I mean, B reverse neutral B is like kind of like a hard thing yeah. to do. It can be a bit tricky sometimes. It's pretty easy to just miss, uh, just because right. it's on like that fourth frame or whatever. Right, and you can easily just like, like side B instead. It. Yeah. yeah. You can either do it too too late and just get the neutral B, or you can do it too early and get the side B. Yeah. One, go! Yeah, Kong Kong uh, in the lead, ready to make this upset. Uh, Town City much higher ceiling though, so Luigi is gonna be a bit harder to kill with. And again, no, he hits him with the back air on the the side B, so doesn't take any damage for that. And he gets clipped by the, the Squirtle up B. The Squirtle up B, all of those hitboxes with the amount of hit like they have, it takes a really long time for it to actually go through. He might have been poked by that, honestly. And Oh, goes for the dare, and yet again, that's going to be another dare, and that yeah. will be it. You know what, he had, to, he had to go for that second side B because that up B wouldn't have uh, had enough drift to connect. Yeah, and then that's just a free punish for Luigi if he can do it. Yeah, looking super strong for Kong Kong right now. Uh, ready to make this, this play in winners. I'm surprised he went for the forward throw there. If he wanted a positional throw, he could have gone for a back throw, if anything. But, you know, I, I feel like as long as he gets the stock, like it doesn't really matter what throw he picks. All right, can you get this edge guard? Oh, my God. You know, he yeah. got so lucky then get stuck into the stage right there. Because you know, when you misfire like that, yeah, it's so easy to to stick into the stage and just die. Yeah, and versus Ivysaur, it's like the freest thing to punish. Ooh, using the side B to challenge Ivysaur before he can throw out the dare. You know, Sweetie's waiting a bit more in here in front of uh, Kong Kong's shield, but then two spot dodges and then just nothing. So I feel like nerves are getting to him some. And yet again, though, he tried slowing down his jab to see if he would drop shield, but he did not and threw out the third jab and dies for it. But getting the run back with that bear, you know what, Sweet T is on his final stock. You know, this is best two out of three, so he's going to have to really turn it up if he wants to stay in winners. Yeah, and with the way Kong Kong has been playing, like, he's been getting so much damage off of his opening he's in neutral that, like, it's looking rough for Sweet T right now. Yeah. And all this damage coming out, he's already at 72%. Here we go, the fair, and then trying getting the up like, super early kill, but not going to find it. Gets him off stage. He doesn't have double jump, but he tried going for the forward smash, and the down B will just beat it out. All right, goes super low for the Nair. Luigi can't do anything about that unless he has his jump. Oh my I was god. not ready for that. Oh my god, he went for the down B right there. Like, but that that yeah. side B will be punished. That's a hundred percent. You can't do anything about that one. I'm just I'm surprised he had his jump and that he was able to tech from that amount of knockback. All right, and then make that back with his airspeed. Like, that was really, really good. You want to know the scary thing is that if Ivy Sword gets him off stage and gets one down air, Luigi's dead. Yeah, one down air, or he can just go out with Nair and then set him up into a worse position and, like, right. just keep, keep him out. So, like, this is not free for Kong Kong right now, despite this huge lead. Oh, yeah. And you see, like, Sweet T is just like, okay, I am trying to avoid yeah. you at all costs. And if you can't deal with these Razor Leaves, like, I'm just going to sit back and chuck more at you. Yeah, we got five minutes right now. Let's see how this fireball like, goes. Eventually, like, one of these leaves will hit you and you'll eat percent off of it. Yeah. Oh, but that's going to be it because he's going to down B and that will be the stock. And I am a liar. Town in the city is so huge. And honestly, like, 
That move is very viable. Oh no, don't, no jump, and so, oh, but yet again, oh, he gets no. hit by it again, but he armors through, and that should be it. That's got to Oh no, 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 he, he wasn't facing behind, so he couldn't yeah, go for yeah, back throw, and it's not like up throw would have killed, so forward throw would have the position. But now, he is super committed to Charizard at this point. Yeah, he does not want to go Squirtle right now, and then catch something, like just a random move right. during the switch. And you know what, he has to play super carefully, tries going for the dash attack, but you know what, can't really punish it. Yeah, crossed up on the last hit, so it was in a super awkward position for him, and he wasn't feeling confident enough to up the... Oh, and there you go. Oh, I like that option from Squirtle, you know, using the the side V to, or the neutral V to uh, push him out. And if the platforms weren't there, Kong Kong yeah. would have been dead. 